He was a real titan of diplomacy, one of the most influential figures in American politics and, of course, one of the most influential Secretary of States of all time. His biggest achievements? Likely the brokering of U.S. relations with China at a time that that seemed almost impossible. Uh, the detente, uh, as it was called at the time, with the Soviet Union, uh, as well as the shuttle diplomacy uh, between Israel and Arab nations after the Yom, K Yom Kippur Wars in 1973. However, it must be said, he also is one of the most deeply divisive politicians in American history as well. What his fran fans called his pragmatic approach to diplomacy and to international relations, his detractors called him unscrupulous and manipulative, having little regard for human rights or even human life at all, really. Some even saying that he was a war criminal, especially for uh, his allowing, effectively, of the bombing of uh, Cambodia during the Vietnam War, which effectively uh, expanded that conflict in Southeast Asia and ultimately led to the Khmer Rouge coming into power in Cambodia. We all know how murderous that, that regime was. He spent many of his later years in life almost uh, defending his actions in office, but he was, at the time, uh, the only person still to this day ever to be National Security Advisor to the White House and also Secretary of State at the same time. He became somewhat of a celebrity diplomat, especially in the years uh, after he left office. He began dating Hollywood starlets, and he was a big fan of the limelight as well, it's fair to say, and he's many, mainly quoted for saying many times, power is the ultimate aphrodisiac. Now, when he was actually Secretary of State, it was, he was so widely uh, loved by the, the public here in the United States that he was actually found to be the most admired man in the country, according to one Gallup poll. And of course, after he left office, he still continued uh, to have an incredible grip on international relations in America. He had the ear of many presidents after he left office, including uh, Barack Obama and also George W. Bush, who has just paid, tri paid tribute to the man saying, the US has lost one of the most dependable and distinctive voices on foreign affairs.